What's on guys? Welcome back to the TR7 Skate YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get your ollies higher, faster and more consistent. Even if you've tried ollies a little bit before, you're starting to get them off the floor. You may find that this tutorial helps you get them a little bit higher, a little bit more consistent and you'll find that the more you practice, your body's muscle memory should kick in and you'll eventually be able to do it easily without even thinking about it too much. So let's do some ollies. So by this point, you should already understand how an ollie works, where you slap the tail into the floor, slide that foot up to get the board off the floor. But in this video, we're going to go into a bit more detail to help you get it a little bit easier. Obviously, for an ollie, your foot positioning is super important, so we're going to start with that. So to begin with, the back foot, a lot of people when they're learning this one they just kind of put the foot on the tail which does work but you'll find it a lot easier if that toe is in the middle of the tail and your heels lifted so you're in that tiptoe position in the middle of the tail and you're not hanging off the back you're not hanging off the sides you're right there so that when you push down the only thing touching the floor is the deck because if you push with your foot flat if your shoe hits the floor that could really affect the pop you want just wood The front foot's obviously very important for this one because it's going to be getting the board off the floor essentially. Naturally when you're learning it, you want to push down with that front foot like this. But you've got to try and fight that urge and learn to slide that front foot up the board, away towards the nose as opposed to straight down. Something like this. Whilst we're on the topic of legs, knees are really important with this one. Obviously you need to jump when you're doing the trick, but you can also think about sucking those knees up as high as you can once you're ollieing, and that will really help you bring the board up a bit higher. Like all the other trick trips that we've been doing, the best way to get good at this one is try it in as many different ways as possible. A really good way to test your ollie out is give yourself obstacles to ollie over. Even if you don't have a skate park, if you've got an empty car park or something, just find a twig or a stick, put that on the floor, ollie over it. And then if it's easy, find another twig, put that next to it, give yourself a bit of distance. You can always improve on your ollies, you can add a bit of speed if you want to go longer, you can jump a bit higher, suck those knees up more if you want to go higher, you can always get better at ollies, so don't ever stop practicing them. So that's how to ollie higher. I hope this video helped. Remember, if there's any trick you would like us to do a tutorial on, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to click subscribe and hit the little bell so that you never miss one of our TR7 videos.